this is Charlie from Red Screw Charlie and today I just came back from seeing Toy Story 4 so I'm going to give you my review on it. In Toy Story 4, the toys me wrong in a bonnie is going to kin kindergarten island for the first time and makes a new toy that will help her through kindergarten named Forky. Okay, because, the, because it was only one day and kindergarten is off for a week they decide to go on a road trip, but Forky doesn't think much about being a toy and tries to go to the trash. Woody at least tries to chase him, but that ends up getting up to trying to get back to Bonnie. But, but on the way, in a, 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 a little dog named Gabby Gabby went onto Woody's voice box so she can belong to a kid. With the help of an old friend, Bo Peep, and some new friends around the park. Uh, Woody must friends must work together for, to escape Gabby Gabby and get back to Bonnie. So, oh, uh, so I know it's hard to believe, but I actually did win another Toy Story film. Um, okay, yes. That end, the end of Toy Story 3 was not a great ending, but the perfect way to end off the, the toy. And this was just me, but, but I really wanted to see what would happen to Bo Peep and why she wasn't in the third film. And when, I don't know, and when, what in this one? Remember when I said the third one was the best of the franchise? Well, after watching this, that is a very good reason why they continue the story after the third film. Film, because this is now the best of the franchise. Why not start with the old characters we know in love with Woody? D. Now, now with a new kid, Ronnie, he, he, he's finding to lack of purpose. You see, See, Woody isn't somebody's favorite like toy, unlike he was to Andy. The, with so with helping her mate for he he does all he can to keep the little sporks little spork safe. That's Buzz, who who would try and help find Woody by also forming his inner voice in problems that he needed. He did, and that helps these two to be. Good carrot, and then there's the as the the reason anyone would probably come to to this to see this film, the return of Bo Peep. Now hit now this is where things get interesting. She she in the in the in the opening of the film, we find out why she was in Toy Story three. It, if you ha if you hadn't seen in you know, a clip on on the rest, they, they were rescuing when they were rescuing R C. See, he, so it was time for Bo to, to go, cause as Bo Peep is actually not Andy's toy, it's his sister Molly's toy. Okay. But when they him, when but in the fourth film, she is developed so well and is very strong throughout it. As for the new characters, there's Forky, who is a petrified sport who thinks he should belong more in the trash because he thinks he's not a toy. Toy and is of and he is a really fun character. Ducky and Bunny, who are like the comic reliefs of the film, and who just want to belong to a kid. Ed, Duke and Boom, Boom, the the stunt man in Canada, who who has a who's who's threatened by his past. Ass, Dick and McDimples. Pulled, who's Bo Peep's new friend around the park? Right. And Gabby Gabby. Some could say she's the villain of the feature, but no, all she wants to do is belong to a kid named Harmony. 
She's not evil because she wants to. She just wants a voice box so she he can belong to a kid. Kid, that kid, with the help of, of a ventriloquist dummy named Benson. So each of these characters, they are really memorable at all the new. Now let's go on the story. Now, now here is where things get interesting. Yeah, at first, it starts like it's gonna be be like your original, like the first Toy Story again, and and it does, but but and you think it'd be predictable? Wrong, because it's actually because it's actually the only predictable moment is is. Would he tell him Forky that he is a toy? Oi, and that's that. Right, the rest of the film um, leaves you surprised and you don't know what's going to happen next. Next, in the beginning, in the part, it starts with Bonnie going to kindergarten. In the middle, it was the rescue mission for four kids. And when it all ends, and when it all ends, it's getting back to the to board. And when the film comes comes to an end, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, if you cried at the end of Toy Story three, get ready for round number two because the ending here is more emotional than that film. Now let's move on to the strongest point of this movie, in my opinion, the animation. The animation technology has changed, changed a lot in each of the films. And here, this is the best looking animation of the franchise. Because, if, because especially with the character animation, if anyone else had fun with the toys as well as the kids, it would have to be the animators. Of how the how the it makes them look like they're made out of what they're made of, like china, no plastic, so thick, fluff, and so much more. Oh, wow! Oh. It's very the thing can be the character designs. Some of them we could just take take some toy, uh, toys like like the potato head and slinky of course from the f keep from the, f the other f films but but here <laughs> yeah each of them are designed really well as for the backgrounds they are gorgeous whenever you're in the antique store it gives us good charm to you. 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 When you're in the carnival, it's like 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 you're in your 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 fan, your utopia. When when it's when it's doing action, when it's in the RV, it feels so smooth, even bumpy when you're. When the vehicles on call is moving, so that's what makes the end in this the animation, this movie incredible. So, so overall, Toy Story Four is a phenomenal achievement by Pixar. Uh, where they not only gave us an amazing sequel, but they did the impossible. Uh, but after continuing the after the perfect ending and making. And staying true to what makes Toy Story, Toy Story, with a very, very amazing and action packed story. Animation that the franchise and lovable characters, old and new. It may come to a surprise for many, but yeah, this is an absolute must watch. Even if you have doubts over it and you. And you Playing the ending of the first film to be be the infinitive end for the film. You've got to watch this. This and we realize 
that there is actually more to tell after the Farad movie. Would there be more Toy Story films after, after the ending? Who, who knows? But the fourth all film managed to tell that Toy Story is no longer a claim to Trinity, but rather one, one of the greatest franchises in movie history. And that's what I'm going to give if, if number four a rating of a 10 out of 10. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment, like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!